Today we are going to be doing our lecture review on the Georgia State Board of Cosmetology Rules and Regulations. The Cosmetology Board is a professional licensing agency of the exclusive branch of state government, which is created for the purpose of you getting a license, regulating and controlling the profession you choose to work in, in business and in trade. It is placed under law, by law, under jurisdiction for the licensing board from the Secretary of State. Board meetings and hearings of the Professional Licensing Board are held at the Capitol. The board is responsible for renewing applications, administering exams, making sure that you are eligible to apply, and to regulate the professional practice of licensees throughout the state. In addition, salons are inspected by the Board of Cosmetology. How do you become a board member? The governor appoints members of the board. He can remove a member of the board if they do not perform their duties as asked. There are nine members to the board. A member must be 25 years of age. You must have a high school or GED diploma, a college degree, or post-secondary education, five years of practice experience as a master cosmetologist, and no member of the board shall be affiliated with any school of cosmetology. Five of the nine board members must have at least five years of practical experience. One member of the board must have at least five years of practical experience at the nail tech level and one with five years of experience at the esthetician level. Then there are also two consumer members who are not licensed cosmetologists, nail technicians, or estheticians. It is important in every chapter as we go through that you understand terms. Terms are the explanation and will help everything make sense as you read. So knowing the definition of the profession you've chosen is vitally important. So a cosmetologist is any person who performs any one or more of the following services for compensation. If you cut or dress the hair, if you give facial or scalp massage, facial and scalp treatments with oils and creams, or any other preparations made for this purpose, either by hand or by mechanical appliances, that you singe and shampoo the hair, color the hair, or you do permanent waving of the hair. If you perform nail care, pedicuring, manicuring services, and performs services as an esthetician. Now an esthetician um, or an aesthetics operator means a person who for compensation engages in any of one or a combination of any of the services, such as massaging the face and neck of a person, trimming eyebrows, waxing those eyebrows, stimulating, cleaning, beautifying the face, neck, arms, legs, um, in the aid of, by your aid of your hands or any mechanical or electrical apparatus. A master cosmetologist means that a cosmetologist who can perform the requisite skill and knowledge to perform properly all services for compensation. That means you are eligible to do hair services, skin services, and nail services. Now, a nail technician is a person who, for compensation, trims, files, shapes, decorates, applies sculptured or otherwise artificial nails, in any way cares for the nails of another person. There are all types of certificates of registration. Any person desiring to obtain a certificate of registration to enable him or her to engage in the occupation of cosmetology shall make the application through the cosmetology board. You have to have proof of a GED, a post-secondary education, a college degree, or a high school diploma. You must be at least 17 years of age and you must meet the 1500-hour um, study course in it a minimum of nine months. This is why attendance in cosmetology is vital to your success. Excessive absences by students will mean at the end of your courses, you do not have the 1500 hours to make it applicable to apply.
If you serve as an apprentice in a beauty shop, then you must have 3,000 hours. You must pass both a written and a practical exam approved by the board and then register with the Georgia State Board of Cosmetology for your official license. Hair designer registration is pretty much the same, except hair designer means that you are only applying to do hair services, no skin services such as waxing and no nail services. Esthetician registration is the same. You still have to be 1,700 hours, but you only need 1,000 credit hours and 2,000 hours if you are an apprenticing. If you are registering to become a nail technician, then you must again have your high school diploma, GED, college level um, transcript, be 17 years of age, and earn 525 credit hours at a school in no less than four months, or 1,050 credit hours if you are working as an apprentice. Again, every single certification requires that you pass both a theory and a practical exam. Part of your job as a cosmetologist will be da daily sanitation and operational duties that are required by the Board of Cosmetology. Your facility, where in the state of Georgia, must provide suitable quarters equipped to give adequate services and Georgia State Board will come in and, and inspect these facilities. It must have a permanent and definite location. It must be in accordance with the laws and rules of the Georgia State Board of Cosmetology. All mobile units, including, including carts, which are like the kiosks that you see at the mall, homes, trailers, or motor homes, shall not be licensed as salons and shops unless they meet the requirements of the board and are permanently anchored on the ground with the wheels detached. If you are looking at using a facility in your home or opening a facility in your home, the space used for cosmetology must be separated by a tight ceiling with high partitions from resident rooms and must have a separate restroom. The cosmetology facility shall have a separate outside entrance entrance. A separate space must be provided for the cosmetology facility. There can be no sleeping, dining, or any other domestic purpose to use for this salon. So for instance, if you were wanting to open a salon at your home and you had a garage, in that garage you would have to put a separate entrance so that it is not in your home. You would have to have a bathroom built in your garage so that there are separate facilities. A person cannot just enter your home and walk through spaces like your kitchen, your dining room, or anything like that to get to the salon. It must be by law separated. Wall ceilings, floors, and furniture have to be kept free of dirt and dust, and all equipment has to be kept in safe working conditions. You must have hot and cold water. Each facility must have proper toilet and plumbing and running water. You will be required once you are licensed to post your license, rules, reports, and inspection reports. So each salon shall have an open area where a current license is issued to them or to that salon and must be presented. Each person employed in the salon in an open area must also display their license. Cosmetology shops shall have posted in an open area at all times the most recent inspection report. You shall comply with the rules for sanitation, health, use of disinfectants of the rules of the Georgia State Board of Cosmetology. Sanitary rules and regulations governing, governing the salons or shops in the state of Georgia have been posted in an open area in the salon so that your clients will be able to come in and read this. During this time where we are under a new normal and we see that salons are having to wear masks and wear gloves and put partitions up, sanitation and disinfection is and always has been huge in this business. Shampoo bowls must be thoroughly cleansed and sanitized. Your towels and linens 
are one use only. They must be placed in a closed container until they are laundried. Clean towels have to be kept in a closed cabinet, a container, or a closet except linens that are designated that you are using at the current time on a current client. Sterilization is not something that we use in the cosmetology field. However, make sure that your hands are properly cleaned and sanitized prior to servicing each client. All waste material has to be removed daily. Garbage has to be stored in a covered washable container and cannot be left in the establishment overnight. Each facility must be free from stale food, food and soiled dishes. So if you have an eating area uh, to where you're going to prepare your lunch and it's time for your client and you're like, oh my goodness, I don't have time. I'm just going to put my dirty dishes in the sink. If state board were to come in and find those dirty dishes in the sink, there is a possibility of a fine. Cleaning and recommended disinfection of your implements. You must use an EPA registered hospital grade disinfectant immersion of at least a minimum of 10 minutes. An autoclave is an acceptable method for sterilization. However, in cosmetology, we don't practice sterilization. So you will want to make sure that you have the correct wet disinfectant and dry storage standards at all times. Multi-use items constructed of non-porous materials. Um, these are things such as metal, glass, your nail clippers, your shears, anything like that above can be disinfected. But then you have what we call single use instruments. These are what I call follow the DD rule. If you cannot disinfect it, discard it. These are going to be things like your um, electric files, your wooden applicator sticks, foot files, pedicure slippers, um, any type of disposable gloves, cotton swabs, neck strips, anything like that must be thrown away after each use. You have a wet disinfection continuation about cleaning all tools and implements and equipment that must be disinfected by complete saturation. These are going to be things like your clippers. You cannot submerge clippers into a disinfectant container. So you would want to make sure that it still says it is EPA hospital grade spray disinfectant and follow the guidelines for spraying and cleaning your clippers and your trimmers. All tools, implements, and equipment that come into contact with blood or bodily fluid must be disinfected by complete immersion for at least 10 minutes and then, <coughs> excuse me, 